Hey everyone, it's Lisa from Moon Prism Planner. Welcome back to my channel for another video or welcome to my channel if you're new here. Thank you for clicking on this video and watching. Today I'm gonna to be planning for the week, or no, I'm sorry, I'm used to saying that, for the month of June 2019 in my, um, what is this? Vertical Neutral Erin Condren Life Planner. And if you haven't been able to tell already, this is a live, well, not live, like, it's not a voiceover. This is me actually talking and planning. So um, I had the time because I called off today from work. Shh, don't tell anybody. Um, I just really needed a day off to just relax and catch up. And plus, I didn't get good sleep last night, unfortunately. And so since I have to be up so early in the morning for work, um, I know if I didn't get good sleep the night before, it's going to be a really big struggle for me, if not like impossible, um, you know, to get... Like, I, I need a minimum of five hours of sleep to function, because if it's less than that, I'm going to be, like, literally falling asleep at work. Um, and that's not good. Nobody wants that. So, anyways, I figured I had a bunch of stuff to catch up on, and I really needed to, you know, get some extra sleep so I could function. So, um, yeah, let's go ahead and plan. <laughs> um, I figured I'd just do a voiceover, because, like I said, um, I had the time, and also I'm home alone. So, um, yeah, I usually only do these, and not voiceovers, but, like, you know, what do you call this when I'm actually talking? I don't know, whatever. You know what I'm talking about, like right now when I'm talking. I usually only do these whenever I'm hauling stuff. So this is like an extra treat for the month of June. Anyway, I hope y'all are ready for this because it might be a longer video because I'm already rambling. Also, I've got my drink here next to me, so don't mind if I have a sip occasionally. It's my um, Happy Planner tumbler from Go Wild. So I just got some sparkling ice in here. Have y'all had those sparkling ice drinks? I mean, I know everybody likes LaCroix and bubbly and stuff, but like, these just taste so much better. <laughs> Anyways, no shade though, if you do like those drinks. Um, I just like those ice bed drinks better. <laughs> Anyways, so for the month of June, we're gonna be using this kit from Wild Summer Designs. Excuse me. Um, and this is her, well, I was gonna say June kit, but it's not, you can use this whenever you want because there's no month, so. Um, that's kind of neat because like if you want to use it for July maybe, maybe for August, I don't know, whatever you want to do, you can use it for whenever. And then I just picked up these from her shop so that way, you know, you can put whatever month you want to put and I'm going to be putting June, obviously. So um, let's go ahead and just get started. I've also pulled out some Simply Gilded Washi that I thought would match <clears throat> pretty well. I'm probably not going to be using all of this, but see, as you can see, I thought it matched very nicely. These are tropical from her tropical set. And this bottom one is the yellow. Um, oh my gosh. <laughs> um, <clears throat> cotton candy. Yeah. From the cotton candy set. Anyways, I've got my little pre plans here. Cause this is how I function when I don't have actually, you know, everything planned out. I just have like a little, you know, sticky notes or some kind of notepad or something. Um, <clears throat> I got this from Go Wild. It says no drama llama. And that's why it's so easy for me to, like when I plan my week out, I will turn back to the month and go, okay, what am I doing this week? And then, you know, anything coming up, I'll put in my, you know, planner. But if it's not there and I have to like refer to it in this like linear list I don't know my brain doesn't really function like that so like the 16th to me like I have no idea what day it is I have no idea did we get paid the day before like I don't know unless I'm looking at a calendar so I'll end up forgetting things um, unless it's actually on my calendar so that's why I forgot already like Handmaid's Tale came out on the 5th and I like added it to my planner later but I was like oh I forgot Handmaid's Tale came out Anyway, stuff like that. <clears throat> so let's just go ahead and start laying down our stickers. I'm gonna first use my whiteout to white out this section here, the June 2019 monthly, since it is a very, you know, bold uh, color. So I don't want it to like show through my pretty stickers. Um, and white out the flag too. I'm just kind of fold over the whiteout. And let's see, so we do have some days of the month here that are not <clears throat> in June. So did she include, maybe this will fit? Well, is it cut? I'm thinking, um, 
Yeah, it's just like a big long strip, but it's, oh yeah, it is four. Sorry, I thought it was Wednesday. So this is perfect. She included this big long strip to just go right here and cover up these days that are not in June. So now what I can do is white out these and then I can use that strip to help me line up this giant sticker because otherwise there's no lines and there's no guide and it's a little bit harder. So let's use this side here that says Sunday with the coconuts. And so I'm just gonna line it up to the bottom of this and see that's how you can help make it as straight as possible. <laughs> Look how pretty. Now I'm trying to decide, <clears throat> do I want to put my June sticker here or do I wanna put it over here? Let me see. Um, oh, there's even more days. Is there anything I can use for that? I've got these little boxes. I've got this box. And then these are all individually cut boxes right here. So I guess I could, well, I could do that. But I kind of would rather spread it out. Maybe I'll just, I'll do one. Yeah, that's a good idea. Let's do a pattern that's not similar to this pattern. Let's do like this one. Okay, so I'll just do one. Um, let's just do it right here, I think. And see, this is going to help me line up the other box. Okay. So let's wipe these out. I just have a hard time describing that <clears throat> when I'm just voicing over the plan with me because I'm like, oh, and what I do is I line it up to the thing here at the bottom. I don't know. I just have a hard time. So I hope that this video is like a little more helpful in describing what I do when I, um... <laughs> What I mean when I lay down something first and then line this up next to it. Oh my gosh, this is still hard though. Because it's like, wait, do I want to line it up to that? Okay, hold on. I do because I want it to go over this much. This is so hard. Okay, like that. And then I think, oh, I already crinkled it, y'all. Uh, okay. That's, that's, is that straight? Oh, that does not look straight. Does that look straight? I don't know. Oh, well, I'm just going to go with it. <laughs> I kind of don't think it's straight, but um, what am I getting? But it's just going to have to stay like that, I guess. Um, I'm going to finish winding this out. I just kind of use it a little bit as a guide, but I don't, you know, I want it showing through, so there you go. Um, then, okay, now that that's down, let's figure out where are we putting June? <clears throat> oh, my God, I just spilled all my washi. No! Hold on, please. Okay. I am just... A mess. Sorry. Okay. <sighs> okay, where do I want June? Do I want June to go here, like that, or over here? I don't know. How is my, uh, my May? May is on the left. What about April? On the left. What about March? No, I didn't really use a kit for March. February. Yeah, it's always on the left, huh? Well, so I can break the rules or I can follow the rules. What should I do? Oh my God. Well, <laughs> no, it's going on the right y'all. <laughs> and it's crooked too. Okay, I have undo and I could totally fix it. But like, whatever, it kind of has more personality, right? Like kind of being like, just crooked. Like, hey y'all, I'm June. Whatever, we're gonna pretend like I meant to do that. Sorry about the sniffles. Let me grab some tissue. Nobody wants to hear that. Okay, I have perpetual allergies. It doesn't matter what season. <clears throat> so, and then like none of my allergy stuff works as well as, you know, somebody who just doesn't have allergies. So yeah, I just have to deal with it. Okay, anyways, let's start with the first. We went to a Home Depot event. So let's just use one of these little boxes. Wait, oh, I gotta do the sidebar, y'all. I'm tripping. When's the last time I did a monthly? I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. All right, let's do, are you still in frame? Yeah. <clears throat> Should I zoom you guys in a little bit or? Oops, what am I doing? Oh, 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 my goodness. No wonder I couldn't pick it up right there. Um. Okay. I need to tilt the planner, y'all, so forgive me here. Hold on. 
Are y'all still in frame? Okay. Let me zoom y'all in a little bit. Okay, that's good, right? Oh, I did not know that they were like this. I like it. It makes it a little easier to lay down everything. Oh my God, please let this be straight. <gasps> oh, I'm terrible. Okay, hold on. Y'all, aren't you glad that this is why I, oh no, why I um, do voiceovers for my plan with me's now instead of uh, talking in them? Cause I'm just like <clears throat> really loud. I just realized. Stop it, there's a crinkle. Okay, there we go. Is this straight? Oh y'all, I love how this kit is designed so well cause I love how it just like stops right above this little, what is this? Um, month at a glance of July. I have a hair on my phone. Oh, it looks straight. <gasps> oh my gosh, good job. Okay. Anyways, <clears throat> yeah, it's just this kit is designed very well. I hate how you can see the little dots from the lines that I didn't cover up fully. Oh well, just get over it. <clears throat> okay, um, do I want, <gasps> is this supposed to go there? I feel like this is big, bigger than like other boxes. <gasps> I think it's supposed to go there because look it looks bigger than the other wait let me see but why would I yeah this looks bigger than the other boxes look at that so is it supposed to go here oh it is I guess but then what am I gonna put in there oh the, the calendar will show through too okay we're just gonna leave this there for now <laughs> I don't know because I don't know even what I would put in it and I do like the preview I don't know why I think it comes from back when I used to um, I used to have my son um, joint custody with his dad okay this is overlapping a little bit I always have that problem though is that I don't know I like to scoot this over so it kind of lines up with that little color that was right there and then what happens is like the boxes get like there's not enough room or something I don't know Anyway, I'm just going to fill it in as we go. How about that? So, yeah, I think it stems from when I had joint custody with my son, with his father, because um, what I would do is I would highlight the weeks that I had my son, because I had him every, uh, for two weeks at a time, and then not two weeks, and then have him for two weeks again. <clears throat> And so that, I don't know, that way when I was looking at the month and I didn't have the next month planned yet, I could still see like, oh yeah, so like here's today and I'm going to have him in on this day or, you know what I mean? So I think even though I have him full time now, he's with me full custody. Um, I still <laughs> like to see that for some reason, even though I don't highlight it because I always have my son. So I don't know why, but I think that's the reasoning. Okay. So we had the Home Depot at 9 a.m. <clears throat> They just do like this free kids workshop once a month. Um, and so we went. Oh, and he made a little, what was it? A little putting green, you know, golf thing. It came with like a mini putter and or golf club or whatever and a little golf ball. And then we kind of built this ramp with the little hole and then he can just, you know, he painted it. And I think that's because it's like Father's Day, you know, and dads love to golf or whatever. Um, I just realized there's no holidays in this kit. Oh, wait. Yeah, I was gonna say there's no holidays, but there's Father's Day. Well, whatever. Oh, that's, yeah, that's right. That's because this isn't like specific to July, um, June. Okay, whatever. We'll make do. Um, what am I doing? Okay, the next one is Handmaid's Tale. I want to use, this on the fifth. Oh, never mind. I was gonna use a box and like write it all big because... I love that show, but there's going to be way too much going on here, so I'm just going to keep it simple and just uh, put that there like that. Okay. And, oh, by the way, the pen that I'm using is this um, black tool pen. Oops, sorry. Can you see that? There you go. That I got from Go Wild, and I don't know what point it is, but it's clearly pretty thick. And I don't know, like, I'm loving it. Like, I I love thin pointed pens with needle point. But this just writes so buttery smooth. It's so awesome. Um, okay, it's going to be hard to write by the quail. But I'm going to try. Okay, so 
handmade. Oh, I'm gonna run out of room. <sighs> handmade. Maybe I won't write season three. Okay. <laughs> Handmaids. <laughs> the coil. <sighs> Tail. Okay. It looks a little jank, but we'll survive. Um, also then on the seventh, we had a couple things. So, um, let's use these little, some like little things. So my son had a doctor appointment. Okay, we're gonna write that in here. Do I have like a doctor appointment I can? Yeah, I have a stethoscope, but it's so big compared to that little box that I used. Why do I use such a little box? I don't think ahead for anything, y'all. Okay, and then also... Simply Gilded new releases. Let's use a flag because they're fun and I haven't used a flag yet. I'm just gonna put it like that. Okay. Um, okay, so I'm gonna write in his doctor appointment. What was it? What was it? Five? Mm-hmm. And then right in here. Simply Gilded. Are these new I mean some of them were too so technically some of them were 4th of July which isn't really new but some of it was new so we'll go with that okay so we got any releases um and then I had a doctor appointment but I rescheduled it that was on the 12th the third was a new moon let me write that in because I did celebrate the new moon here oh excuse you mm, there okay I mean I can tell by the the new moon that's right there in the Aaron Con room but you know it's specialer okay so new moon um what else hold on one second sorry all my voice just gets like really crackly I just start like losing my voice I'm sure like if you're really paying attention for it, you can you can hear it. You can hear how it sounded before I said, hold on, y'all. And then after I cleared my voice or cleared my throat. Yeah, I need to go see an ear, nose, and throat specialist for that, which I do need to make an appointment for, which since I have time today, I'm going to do today. Um, to figure out what the heck is always... Wait, are you still in frame? Oh my gosh, I apologize. I forgot I zoomed in. Um, yeah, I need to figure out what's wrong with my vocal cords. It's so bad um I've kind of always had like issues like <clears throat> like speaking I guess you could say and I always kind of feel like there's something in my throat that I can't swallow which sounds gross but I don't know what it is you know what I mean so it's more alarming to me than it is gross because it's like what the heck and then it comes and then especially at night my voice gets very uh, strained. I don't know how else to describe it. It's just like I'm losing my voice and it gets like really deep, like deeper than I usually can go. And it's so weird. I don't know why. Okay, so my son has a doctor appointment and I probably need to reschedule it, but I'm going to write it in, you know, for now because um, that's, that's when it is. <laughs> so yeah, I need to see an ENT and figure out like what the heck is always wrong with me. Let's use, I want to use something um, on the 20th, Toy Story 4 comes out, so I'm going to use a box because I'm so excited for Toy Story 4. Oops. Let me know in the comments if you guys are going to go see it and if you're, oh, I'm terrible. And if you're excited to see it too, <clears throat> because I just love Toy Story. So let's write it in. I just feel like, okay, <laughs> that's all right. Um, I just feel like, um, oh, on the 21st, I have a dentist appointment, which is something, again, I might want to reschedule. Yeah, I probably am going to reschedule it, but I'll just put it in for now. <clears throat> And also, Summer Begins, which is the Pagans at Litha. I need to write that in, too. Um, okay, what was I saying? Oh, Toy Story. Okay, hold on. Let me write this in, and then I'll 
say what I was just about to say. I'm gonna use another, oh, I don't wanna use another flag on a Friday and a Friday. What is that? I don't wanna smear my ink. Um, so, I wish I had more like half box sized things. Like maybe the size of these buildies are a little bigger, but I don't. Hmm. So I will just, I guess, use another box because I have a ton of these boxes. Okay, just stack them up. Okay, so me, dentist, at one. And then, I'm just gonna write it summer. And that. Uh, okay, then, oh, I feel like, okay, so with the Toy Story, I feel like, um, it's so weird to me, like, I feel kind of like, um, in the planner community, they're, like, it's like you're only allowed to have one obsession. Does that make sense? <laughs> like, like, let's say... I'm known for loving hollow and all things hollow give me all the hollow right but like I love so many things like I love marble <clears throat> marble like marble but I also love marble if that's what you were thinking um you know I love all the pretty things I love bows and I love pink is my favorite color and I love marble and I also am very nerdy and I love Marvel Sailor Moon Harry Potter I love Disney. I love so many things, right? But, hold on, let me get the, I'm putting the washi down because my son's gonna be at his dad's house those two days. Um, but I feel like you're only allowed to like, or like have one obsession. You're only allowed to have one love, if that makes any sense. Why was this just freely hanging around here? I don't know, hold on, let me put this back in here. Okay, if y'all wanna see a glimpse of my, Sticker storage here. Here's my happy, scrappy, dirty <laughs> album with Fox and Pip. I won this album. The Fox and Pip those. And so I just have a bunch of, I don't know, like my sticker storage is horrible. And I have no like organization to it. What am I looking for? Oh, the dad's house. Oh, they're not even. Oh, Y'all, I took them out because I put the dad's house in my planner and never put them away. Oh my goodness. Hold on, let me try to find these. Okay, found them. My bad, took me a while. Okay, what was I saying? Yeah, but I feel like, wait, these are not dad's house. I feel like you're only allowed like one obsession because it's like, I don't know. I, I mean, I understand it. I feel like it would be, do I use the pink? Or this green? I only have one green left. How have I used so many greens? Like, I never use green in my planner. Where the heck have all these greens even gone? Okay, anyways. I feel like, but it's understandable because it's like nobody, who who in their who in their, their right mind is going to be like <clears throat> remembering what one specific person in the planner community, ha like what all of their obsessions are. And then, you know, I'm, I understand if that's your friend, but like, you know, you have more than one friend and like, I don't know, you can't like remember every single love that they have. So it's like, everybody's kind of like assigned one obsession. You know, like Viv Loves to Plan is like Harry Potter and like, um, I don't know, you know what I mean? It's like, um, um, there's a couple people known for like Disney, you know, like Fox and Pip or like Amanda from Fox and Pip or um, Tabitha from No White Space Stickers. Like they're like, oh, their thing is Disney, you know? So it's like whenever planner friends send each other stuff, it's like they always get cute Disney stuff or Viv always gets a ton of cute Harry Potter stuff. And I'm like, you know, we all love multiple things. I'm not the only one, but I feel like um, I've noticed that. I'm just saying I've noticed that with um, like people and their obsessions or whatever. Um, it's like, yeah, you're only allowed one obsession. <laughs> and it's like, once that's your obsession, once you have said, like, this is what I'm obsessed with, that's what you're going to get. You know what I mean? Like, um, that's kind of what you're going to be known for. And then, like, if people send you happy mail out of the kindness of their souls, it's going to be centered around that. Um, you know, so 
Yeah. What am I putting for the 28th? Oh, Mario Maker 2. Again, my nerdy side. I'm so excited for this freaking game. Um, yeah, so I'm just saying I've noticed that. Like, it's kind of like everybody just like you get one obsession and that's it. Like, if you have multiple obsessions, I'm sorry, but that's too much for everybody to remember. And you're only going to be known for like the one thing that you like talk about the most. <laughs> so... This is for karaoke. We're going to go to karaoke with some of my husband's co-workers. Um, I just like forgot to about karaoke for a moment there. <laughs> I don't know what time. I'm just going to leave that open. So yeah, my husband's co-workers, they want to go out for karaoke. Um, can I use any of these icons for anything? Hmm. Downtown with my maker. Okay, I think I've got everything in here. <clears throat> Yeah, that looks like everything. And usually I use this sidebar. Sorry, I'm gonna zoom these out again because I keep getting out of frame, I apologize. Um, usually I'll use the sidebar for like writing in my bills and then I'll just check off when they're paid. Um, Cause I just don't really put like monthly tasks or anything. Like I just, I don't know. I don't know, like my brain doesn't function that way. Like if I put a monthly thing in, um, let me use this one. Like say, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna use this for my, oh, I don't like that there. It's like a weird smudge. Like say I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna use this for my monthly to-do list. Well, the thing for me is that when you're doing a to-do list, I'm putting the sticker for the new moon, or for the full moon. Um, when you're doing a to-do list, you need to like, you need to make a plan for it. You know what I'm saying? We're planners. So, like, I can't just put all these things in my to-do list, but not make a plan for when am I going to have the time to do these things? What are the steps that I need to do these things in, like, the, the order? Um, and, you know, like, it, I can't just be like, rearrange the garage. And it's like, okay, well, when I got to plan when am I going to find the time to do that? And I got to plan how many days is it going to take me? Because this is not like a five minute task. I need a plan if I'm going to need help for it. You know what I mean? So like all these things go into it and it's like, I got to keep, pull, like, I got to keep going back to this checklist to figure out like, what am I doing? And, um, and then this just doesn't have the task broken down. So I need like something else to break the task down. I don't know. It's like a lot for me. Also, I'm going to wait this out because I don't celebrate Ramadan. Um, did I even say that right? I apologize if I didn't. Um, I'm like thinking of something else. So like my brain, whatever. Yeah, so I don't do that for like my monthly to-do list or something like that. Um, yeah, just because, I don't know. It's too much. <laughs> for me, that's more like project planning. And if you're project planning, I actually have some project planning stuff in my personal ring bound planner, which I hardly ever use anymore. Um, and But I had to have a uh, like walkthrough of that in the if you want to see it. But yeah, I do all like project planning in there. And one of the reasons I hardly ever use it anymore is because um, I just don't have the time or the money or the patience or the help to do projects that I want to do. So if they're not something I can do by myself, then they just get postponed for a really long amount of time. <laughs> so over here, as you saw maybe from the sticky note, this is going to be um, partially my summer bucket list. And then also I'm going to have my usual... Um, not this, uh, step counter, step tracker. And I think that's about it. Basically that's what I do every month is I kind of like, I used to do this, but I've been really lazy about tracking it. So I'm kind of not going to do that, but I do these little mini calendars and then I'll also do different stuff depending on the month, you know, like this was February. So this had to do with kind of like goals and stuff cause it's like the new year. And then for March I, ha <clears throat> I had our tax refund. So I was like planning what we're going to do with that money. And then, so the, so the little calendar is always there, but then it changes for the month. Like this had to do kind of with go wild stuff I needed to do, um, before go wild. And then for May I had like mother's day gift ideas. And then this was cute. I kind of put all these stickers of who I took selfies with at go wild and stuff like that. So anyways, I have my water goal and my step goal. So I'm gonna do that down here and then I'm going to do our summit back summer bucket list up here. So I'm going to try to do it like this. This is my pre-planner, which I did this at work because I was just like bored and um, I wanted to come up with a summer bucket list. So I love this. It looks, I don't know. I think it looks kind of cute. It reminds me of like 
if I had a bujo or something. Anyways, I'm gonna try to do that because <clears throat> I thought it turned out cute. So let's just start up here and write summer bucket and then list. Oh my god, this is gonna come out so horrible. But like whatever. Already the S messed up. <laughs> um yeah. C U M M E R. <laughs> this is already not good. B U C K O. Okay. E T. Oh, this is bad. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, planner. Okay, we're gonna do this. Um, and then what I did was I kind of did like a thing and I made like this little bow. And then I did the same over here. I don't know, it just looked so much cuter in my little what is this thing? This is a free uh thing that I got at Go Wild. And it's like um it's a it's a planner it's got a calendar it's all undated and then you've got like week um horizontal weeks in here and i just use it for pre-planning um so i like that it was from michael's yeah it was from the michael's tote bag oh my gosh this looks so crooked doesn't it oh well whatever um so i'm gonna do the same thing where i kind of ooh, my pen skipped and then i did like a little bit of shading in here and so I totally forgot what I was talking about. I know I was talking about the obsession thing, but I think I was past that. What else was I talking about? <clears throat> do I kind of want to, um, I kind of do. I want to like thicken it so it looks kind of hand lettered, but it's going to come out so bad. Oops, it's already coming out bad. Okay. Um, yeah, so I was talking about why is that the only thing I can remember? I was talking about the obsession thing. And then I don't know if I was talking about anything else. I have to like rewatch the video to figure out what I was talking about, but ain't nobody got time for that. So, I don't know. Was I talking about something over here? Karaoke. I don't know. Anyway, so tell me if y'all are planning on watching Toy Story and if you're excited for Toy Story at all or... Um... Toy Story 3 made me cry. And you know what really made me cry too was Coco. I love that movie. Wait, is that right? Yeah. Um, Coco did. And the Bao short film before it. Oh my gosh, made me cry. My husband, he was so funny. He was like, he, he wasn't like, okay, I was crying. I was like, didn't you think that was so touching? And he was like, I don't get it. Was that her? Was that his brother? And like, so my husband thought that the mom was a guy and that she was the little Bao's brother. And I was like, what? No, that was his mom. Oh my God. Men, y'all, like, I don't, they don't get it. <laughs> so yeah, I thought that was like such a touching story. And I was like, okay, because the Bao was the short film for Coco. And I, I had a feeling Coco was going to make me cry. And I was like, Dang, already crying, and it's only the short film. This is so bad. But yeah. Coco definitely was a crier for me. That's, there you go. Okay. So, let me know, like, what Disney movies made you cry. Ew, I don't like the way that looks, but oh well. <laughs> oh well. Oh, I need to get rid of that. And I have stickers for those. I think I still have one, or I might have used them for the beginning June of this year. Let me check. So I have these stickers that I got um, from, yeah, Rose Colored Days. Oh good, I still have a June. I got this in a new scrap bag. I don't know what they're for exactly, because I don't know, I, I just don't know what are they for, but it's, it's an old sheet, so. Anyways, I got them in an oops scrap bag, and I was like, well, what can I use these for? And so what I've been doing is I've been kind of like, using them for my little monthly flag and clearly i only have one you know one june so the other side of the planner has a flag this is june too and i just leave it so whatever um we're gonna put this pretty june one here i feel like i need to go back and do these months that i didn't do because like then i can use up the sheet okay there we go so we've got june there all right, now let's go ahead and start. 
Oh, I was talking about bills, wasn't I? Was I? Yeah, I was talking about projects and stuff, I think. I don't know. Oops, that looks... Ooh, I'm going to wipe that out. <laughs> that does not look like a box with a shadow. Anyways, yeah, that's what I was talking about, huh? Let's switch. Do a center point here. Oh, uh, yeah, I was talking about the... Whatever. So anyways, I want to go to the beach, I hope. I miss the beach. I haven't been to the beach in a long time. And then also as a part of that um, bucket list, we want to build sand castles. And as a part of that beach as well. Oh, I should have put it down there, huh? No, it's fine. Maybe I should have. No, I'm just going to do it. Um, oh, the quail. We want to collect seashells. Yeah, let me know what you guys use your monthly sidebar sidebar for. <clears throat> Do you use it for a to-do list? And how does it help you? Because, I don't know, it doesn't help me. But again, I'm the kind of person who doesn't, like, use a to-do list. Like, I, like, you know how people will put, like, a little daily checklist in their, in their weekly, and I don't do that. <laughs> I just put a checklist in my sidebar. I don't know. I'm a very listy person. I mean, I'm making a list right now. I'm a very listy person. Don't get me wrong. It's just that like, <clears throat> I don't know, my lists get really messy. And then if I don't do something, I need to like migrate it. So like Bujo would work for me, I think. Um, so I feel like I need to migrate it and then that can look more messy. So like when it comes to listing, I tend to really kind of list things out very sloppily and scribbly and on like scratch paper and stuff um because i don't want to mess up my planner <laughs> so um yeah that's what i do with that's i don't know i think that's why i don't list in my planner maybe i don't know why or maybe it just doesn't work for me maybe it's both of those things anyway we also want to hike the Neros, which is in zion national park um we went before and it was beautiful it's phenomenal i love it and i want to go back because we didn't get to like go as far as i'd hoped um i really don't know how far we went because it's such a long river and i don't you know there's lots of twisting around and who knows but we what what we need to do is we need to um we oops that is not an S. Um, what we need to do is we need to go there the night before and get a hotel, go to sleep, wake up super early in the morning. And then um, go on the hike. Because what we did was we drove there. Because it's only about two hour, two and a half hour drive for, from Vegas. So we drove and, you know, and then we had to go rent the equipment and like park the car and go to the park and fill up our water bottles, all this stuff, right? And so by the time we finally got to start the hike it was probably like 11 a.m or 11 30 and then they were telling us they were like it might rain there's a good chance it's gonna rain you might have to head back and we're like okay whatever like we're here we're gonna go you know and yep it rained and we had to head back because it is very very dangerous i'm gonna let me do the calendars here before i continue i don't want to go too far it is very very dangerous um Um, I was just counting how many weeks I need to put. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's just go up to here. It's very dangerous to hike the Narrows um, with a flash flood warning. Because whenever it rains, there's always a flash flood warning. Um, because the water can get up to six feet high. And also, um, it can carry a lot of brush with it, you know, like sticks and weird loose twigs and all kinds of stuff um, that can drown you. <laughs> so it's not, it's not something to mess around with. If it starts raining, you really want to head back just to be safe. Um, so yeah, because normally the water is not very deep. The water for the most part of the hike is like 
ankle deep and then you will come across sections that are maybe like waist deep or if you're short like me kind of like chest deep or if you're a child you might be swimming in it um hopefully you know you have a parent that can help you or you know how to swim or whatever um but yeah it's an easy ish hike there's i saw lots of kids there we took my son um he had a blast swimming in the like deeper pockets of water <clears throat> so we're gonna do this is my step counter one two three four five no one two three four five six right because this is one because the one's right there two three four five and then six because there's these like odd random days that are only one day of the week so one two three four five six that's all put it right there so yeah um we brought him he had a blast and he was swimming in those deeper pockets climbing on rocks my husband was exhausted and it was it's it's definitely tough because you're hiking against the water um against the current when you're going in but when you're coming out obviously there's no sh shortcut to get out when you come out you have to hike you know with the current um and i think it's like a seven mile hike one way or something it's very long so Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, something like that. So yeah, but it's so, so, so fun. And I love, I just love nature. I love the water. I love splashing around in it with my son and hiking on the rocks with water up to my ankles. It's just like so neat, you know, it's like a hike you don't often get to experience, you know what I mean? So, what is this now? I can't come backwards. I can't do it backwards. Saturday, Friday, Thursday, Wednesday. Oh, geez. I'm, that's going to have more space than I need. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Damn, I'm making these too narrow. I can't do this, y'all. This is why if somebody sells, like, little calendar stickers for this, like, just a little, I don't know, I would totally use it. What do we got? Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Nope, that's that's Sunday. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. <sighs> Y'all. <clears throat> okay, well, I have a lot of space with this one, so let's hope this is better. So this one is Sunday. Monday. See, if I could make it myself, I would totally just print out every month these like little calendars on sticker paper. And they would just like, I would just be like, plop, just stick it down. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. That's better. And like, be done with it. Because this is just so jank. <laughs> but, you know, it goes with as well with saying that like, this is my planner. <clears throat> so, who cares? <laughs> okay, so Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday. Now, I am clearly like behind because it's already June 12th um so I'm gonna have to catch up I already have no idea how much water I've drank but I'm pretty sure that this entire month I haven't met my goal I've been close but not and there have been a few months where I, I mean few days where I did meet my step goal so at least with the step goal I can go back in my Fitbit tracker and I can track like what days I met it so at least I can do that so let's make this one right i guess sure let's make this one my step counter and then this one is my water goal what is my water goal i don't even know y'all um i think it's 96 yeah it's like three of my hydro flask bottles those are 32 ounces each Okay, so anyways, yeah, definitely want to hike the narrows again. Um, we want to go to the drive-ins. I love the drive-ins, y'all, because you can just, like, go in your pajamas and, like, bring your own snacks, bring your pillow. And I personally think it's so much more acceptable when you have little children. <laughs> um, because I would, I never even brought my son to the movie, like, the movie theaters until he was, like, eight maybe um because he's just too loud he cannot sit still i mean he has adhd so yeah it's like too hard for him 
Um, so, but the drive-ins were perfect because it's like I could focus on the movie and he could be back there playing on his tablet like he likes to do. So, whatever, no big deal, right? It's not gonna disrupt anybody around us. Um, yeah, and then we want to make popsicles. We did that last summer, and um, he really enjoyed making popsicles. He thought that was really fun. We just we did it like you know pretty healthy. It was like some kind of fruit juice and then like strawberries and bananas and blended together. And then we got these popsicle molds from um, Ikea. They're like these silicone like molds and they have like a little top on them and you just stick them in the freezer. And he ate them and I was happy because they were just, you know, like healthier than normal. So that is it for the notes section. So yeah, like I was saying, I like to try to tailor my notes section to be, you know, um, uh, let's use the skinny one. To always have my little trackers. Um, I mean, I guess I could do, see like these are the kind of things that you might do in like a habit tracker for your week. And I could, but I like it more as a monthly overview because then if I want to see how many days of this month did I meet my goal, I don't have to like flip through every single weekly like here's my check my habit tracker like you know what I mean I can just go here and refer to here and be like oh I didn't do so great this month you know I like that better just having that overview um so let's make this a little more colorful and let's add some more stickers so I have I have this um binder that I got from like a wild and I've kind of been just like putting my kits in here Oh wait, it's not in here though. The kits that I plan on using are in here and then I also just have like this pile of kits that I don't have plans to use yet. That's what I'm looking for. Um, I have a kit from Simply Gilded from the Wild at Heart box or whatever. So it's the tropical box with the same um, colors that these where the heck is it um, that these washi came in, came with that box. So I have that. Let's use some of those and see what we can, you know, see how uh, summery we can make this look. But so, yeah, I tend to like to, um, yeah, just do my, my little note section the same every, those are so pretty, the same every month where I have my trackers. And then this will vary. This will just vary depending on the month that it is. So this time it's my summer bucket list. Um, I It's not very long. And that's just because, um, you know, I work a lot. And so I don't really want to be like overwhelming myself and then not getting the things done with my son that I wanted to get done. And then disappointing him. So, yeah. I just kept it kind of short and very reasonable. Um, okay, let's put some of these because they're super pretty. I'm just gonna like scatter them about, I think. And some of these birds. These are cute little toucans and parrots. Very cute. Let's put some of these birds over here. Um, and then, sure. Right? Well, why not? Um, I've got some hearts too. Let's use this. I'm just using, I mean, this is more for a weekly spread, but like, I didn't, really didn't plan on using this as a weekly spread, but I was holding on to it because I was like, I don't know what I want to do with it. So I guess I figured out what to do with it. Also, um, I want to, might want to put more washi. I don't know. I could. We'll see how it looks when I'm done. Okay, so yeah, that's what I tend to do. What do you do in your note section? Because I need a few ideas <laughs> because the new, um, I don't really want to use any of these. Um, the new Erin Condren's, they have this note section and then they have the quote. And then when you flip it, you get another note section and then you get this whole section over here where you've got like birthdays, events, important dates nodes or whatever and then you finally flip it and then you get the month so i've got like two note sections now plus the whole event section 
that I don't know what to do with. I've been coming up with some ideas. So let me know what your ideas are for sure. Um, because that's a lot for me to do. Um, so we'll see. Also, hang on one sec. I want to see if I have, um, oh, you know what? Really quick though, before I forget. Um, I forgot that there's these pretty boxes. Let's use these, cause like, why would these want to go to waste? Um, okay, let's do, got the flowers as well. And then yeah, this big box is, covers up that, but I'm gonna leave it. So, I wanna do this here for some reason. Okay, and then let's do this one. I don't want to do it on the same week, but like that's pretty much all I can do unless I cover up those two days. I don't want to do that though. Maybe here? Mm. I don't know. Let's put it here. Okay. Definitely want to use those for sure. Nothing special. Just to make it pretty. Okay. Anyways, let's go back to here. Hang on. I want to see. I may have some summary stickers I could use from my sticker books. Okay. I found some summary stickers. Um, this is from Me and My Big Ideas from the uh, Holidays book. Here's the book. Okay. So this is old though. I think I got it in like maybe 2018, maybe 2017. So, um, definitely I need to do some watermelon because I freaking love watermelon so much. Let me know if you put tahini on your watermelon because it's the bomb. And if you're looking at me crazy, I don't blame you, but try it if you haven't. <laughs> um, also I love the cookout section over here. I wish we could go camping as part of the bucket list, but, uh, we just don't have time for that. Um, so I'll save the s'mores. But do I want to do like the cookout? That might be fun. Like I, okay, the funny thing is, let me know if you call it a cookout and like what region you're from because um, I don't. <laughs> I don't know what region that is, but I basically call it a barbecue. And I know that's apparently like offensive to some people because they're like barbecue. They think of apparently like brisket and um, I'm just pretending that these are made with vegan meat because I don't eat actual meat. Um, briskets and like, um, I want to keep it over here though because it's like going to look weird with all the rest of the summary stuff. Yeah, brisket, uh, I don't know, ribs, stuff like that or whatever. And maybe what they think of hot dogs and hamburgers is like a cookout, I guess. Is that how it's called? Forgive me if I'm wrong but I think that's how it is for some areas. Um, but for everybody else, I think it's more the South maybe. Um, but for everybody else, we just call it a barbecue because the thing that you barbecue on is a barbecue, right? <laughs> and you cook the hot dogs and hamburgers on a barbecue, right? So it's called a barbecue. Um, I don't know, that's what I always thought. I don't use a barbecue, so <laughs> I'm probably wrong. Um, zoo, go to the fair, we're not doing any of that. Wherever you are, be all there. Snapshots of a good life. Let's go somewhere fun. I like how it says creature and sunshine because it's like, you know, summertime. I want to use this banner. I think it's cute. Um, yeah, so I don't call it a cookout. I call it a barbecue, but whatever. <clears throat> Again, I don't even eat meat, so I wouldn't be eating ribs and brisket or hot dogs and hamburgers unless it was the vegan like Boca burgers and then the like light life hot dogs are so good I love them so much um pineapple let's do that because I also love pineapple again with tahini don't come at me <laughs> and then let's do these cute little shades because it's like summertime baby I don't know let's do them over here what if I did the like bird doing the <laughs> shit with the shades Popsicles, these are cute. Of course, we're making our own popsicles, so I guess I'll put them right here, and it matches that pink washi very well. Cute. 
Cute, cute, cute. Oh, we want to go to the beach. I could use these waves, maybe. That be the new washi from Simply Gilded for the June box, the like beachy theme. That would be perfect washi for this kit. Um, but I don't have that kit yet. But maybe I'll go back and do a little more decorating <clears throat> after I get it. Would that be naughty of me? I want to put this palm tree in too, but like, where would it go? Did y'all know we have palm trees in Las Vegas? They're just like all over the place. Just in case you didn't know. Some people think of palm trees and they think of Hollywood or they think of like beaches and stuff, but they are also in Las Vegas. Everywhere. Um, I like the summer break one, but like where would that even go? My son is on summer break, so I'm just gonna put it. It's a big box, but like whatever. I got the space for it. What, oh, don't you start. Do you see how it like just like gets attracted to the planner? Uh, oh, God, see? Should I put it here? Uh, if I put it here, it's going to hang off the edge. So I don't want to put it there. Um, what if I put it? I don't know. Like, I want to put it here. It's not straight. I at least need to get it straight if I'm going to put it here. Like, come on. Oh my gosh, this is terrible. It's going to come out so ugly. Why am I doing this? Yeah, so I'm doing it because my son is on summer break. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> I have the undo, so if it comes out terrible. Okay, what do we think of that? Whatever, I'm, I'm doing it. <gasps> is it cute? It's kind of cute. Let me move this out of the way. It's kind of cute. Whatever. We're just going to deal with it. Okay. I think that's about it. I don't think I have anything else to babble on about. Yeah, what was I saying? I wish we could go camping. Uh, we call it a barbecue. People only get one obsession in the planner community. Uh, we don't eat meat and definitely go and hike the Narrows. <laughs> so this is my plan with me. Thank you all so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my rambling and I hope you enjoyed planning with me. Um, so definitely subscribe if you're not already and you would like to see more from me. And remember, leave me a comment and tell me what you use for this um, sidebar area. If you are going to see any Toy Story movie, if you like Disney, if it made you cry, what movies made you cry, um, and any plans you have, like any suggestions for me for the extra note pages that are going to be in the new Erin Condren because there's a lot. There's two more notes pages that I have to plan for starting next month because this is the end of my planner, y'all. I literally have... <clears throat> two more weeks and then that's it oh my gosh i'm so excited but i'm nervous okay anyways yeah please subscribe if you're not already and you'd love to see more from me and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed i hope to see y'all in next uh next week's video yeah next time <laughs> all right take care y'all bye